Hello students, welcome to SSP channel. I am Satish Surabhi. Today I am going to demonstrate pH junction diode and Gina diode voltage and current characteristics. Here this will help you in your practical examinations. Mainly here I am focusing on how to give the connections and how to take the readings and finally how to draw the graphs. See here to do this experiment we need a micro board. This micro board consists of dual power supply. One is 2 volts range, another one is 10 volts range. And it has two resistors, resistor 1, resistor 2. And on this board we have 3 Gina diodes and 3 p injunction diodes and uh, 1 VL range voltmeter, dual range ammeter. Now let me explain how to give the connections to study voltage and current characteristics of p injunction diode. Let's see the connections. You need to start the connections from. So, once see the circuit diagram, this is the battery, 2 volts battery, and this is resistor, an ammeter, milliammeter, P injunction diode, and a voltmeter. Based on this circuit diagram, here we have to give the connections. Now, I will show you. Positive terminal of the battery is connected to the resistor 1 terminal and other terminal of the resistor is connected to the ammeter positive terminal. Now take multi pin with this multi pin negative terminal of the ammeter is connected to positive terminal of the P injunction diode. And uh, negative region of the P injunction diode is connected to negative terminal of the battery. Then after positive terminal of the P injunction diode is connected to positive terminal of the voltmeter, and a negative terminal of the P injunction diode is connected to negative terminal of the voltmeter. Once the circuit connection completed, switch on the power supply and make these two power supply knobs to minimum position and keep for forward bias, keep in 2 volts range and ammeter you have to keep in 20 milli amperes range. Now slowly increase the voltage. So take the readings for 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, this is for 0 0.1, note down the current, current is 0, it is showing, then keep 0 0.2, note down the current reading in the ammeter and uh, 0 0.3, note the reading, 0 only it is showing, 0 0.4, even now also it is showing 0 only. So at 0 0.5 a small current started in the ammeter. So note down that uh, reading, this reading. For 0 0.6 also note down the reading, for 0 0.7 also note down the reading. Note all these readings in the tabular form like this. So here you can see for 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, here we have the values like this. This is forward bias characteristics and here for this forward bias characteristics, here you will get the graph. I will show you.
for forward bias you have to draw the graph like this for forward bias and reverse bias both i have uh, given in this graph only and this is the forward voltage this is the forward current in milliamperes this one in volts how to take on x axis 0.1 0.2 0.3 like this and y axis 5 milliamperes 10 milliamperes 15 20 25 milliamperes here you can see that scale here on x axis one unit is equal 0 0.1 volts and y axis one unit is equal 5 milliamperes with the help of the tabular form we have to put the points and connect then you will get the graph like this sharp rise in the current will take place at some point at 0 0.5 sharp rise in the current will take place that shows actually knee voltage that you have to identify in this experiment let's see in reverse bias how to give the connections and now we will study reverse bias voltage and current characteristics of PN junction diode. For reverse bias, you have to take this power supply, 10 volts range power supply, from positive terminal of the power supply to the resistor R2 terminal, and another terminal of the resistor is connected to the positive terminal of the voltmeter and uh, negative terminal of the voltmeter is connected to the N region of the PN junction diode and P region of the PN junction diode is connected to negative terminal of the battery. This is called reverse biasing uh, because positive terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the PN junction diode and uh, P region of the PN junction diode is connected to negative terminal of the battery. Then we have to give the voltmeter connections. P region is connected to positive terminal. Just parallel connection I am giving here. N region is connected to the negative terminal. Just parallel connection. No confusion. Now we will see the voltage and current characteristics again keep this one in 20 volts range and this one we have to keep in micro 200 micro amperes range because in the reverse bias here this power supply will give up to 10 volts right that's why you have to uh, keep this one switch in downward direction and this one in upward direction you have to keep now start Again here you have to take the readings for 1 volt here you can see for 1 volt 2 volts 3 volts 4 volts 5 volts corresponding to that voltage you have to note down these current values here you can observe linearly both the values increasing as you are increasing voltage here current values also increasing in the reverse direction so tablet all the readings in the tabular form here you can see in the reverse bias in the reverse voltage as you are increasing the voltage here reverse current also increasing in micro amperes actually the, these are the readings then how to draw the here it is the reverse bias characteristics of PN junction diode here you can see the scale also here the scale is here on negative x axis 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt 4 volt like that you have to take on negative y axis you have to take 1 milliampere to uh, uh, 1 microampere, 2 microampere, 3 microampere, like that you have to take the readings. Here you can see, based on the tabular form, you have to put the points and connect, you will get the linear graph here in the reverse bias. This is all about IV characteristics or voltage current characteristics of Gina diode. Now, Let's see 
voltage and current characteristics of Gina diode. These are the Gina diodes. I will take first Gina diode. Now I will show you how to give the connections. Forward characteristics of Gina diode. Positive terminal of the battery is connected to the first terminal of the resistor and uh, another terminal of the resistor is connected to positive terminal of the emitter and take multi pin negative terminal of the emitter is connected to p region of the uh, p region of the gina diode and negative terminal of the negative region of the p junction diode is uh, gina diode is connected to negative terminal of the battery then give parallel connection to the voltmeter p region is connected to positive terminal of the voltmeter and n region is connected to negative terminal of the voltmeter make sure both the knobs should be in the minimum position now we'll use this knob why because in forward bias we have to use this one in the reverse bias we have to use this power supply now keep in the forward bias 2 volts range and this one is in milliamperes range now slowly increase again same like gina diode uh, pn junction diode here we have to increase the voltage value 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.1 0 0.2 first 0 0.1 note down the reading 0 only for 0 point also 0 only so it starts current starts at 0 0.65 like that so tablet all the readings based on the readings draw the graph here i will show you this is the forward bias voltage and current characteristics of gina diode here you can see the same like p injunction diode only once the readings forward bias readings 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 volts here at 0 0.5 0 0.6 the current started and it rises sharply at a 0 0.75 this voltage actually we called knee voltage now we'll see graph this graph represents this one this quadrant represents forward bias characteristics of the gina diode here you can see here on x-axis we have taken 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 like this on y-axis 5 milliamperes 10 milli 15 milliamperes 20 25 you can see that scale here and based on the readings keep the points here on the graph and connect then you will get the graph like this this is the forward characteristics of the gina diode now we will see reverse characteristics of gina diode for this take 10 volts range power supply connected to the one first terminal of the resistor and the second terminal of the resistor is connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter and negative terminal of the ammeter is connected to n region of the gina diode and p region of the gina diode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery then after give parallel connection to the voltmeter same like reverse bias characteristics of the pn junction diode no change again change the modes keep this one voltmeter in the 20 volts range and keep this one in the 200 microamperes range then start taking readings here use this knob here also give 1 volt, 2 volts, 3 volts, 4 volts like that. At a particular voltage, the sharp rise in the current will you can observe in this experiment. 
see as the voltage is increasing here see you can see at a time sharp rise in the current you can observe in this experiment at which voltage here the sharp rise in the current takes place that voltage generally we call jenner breakdown voltage this principle only we will use in the voltage regulator you know already here you can see the readings by increasing the voltage in the reverse bias here current values are increasing and the sharp rise in the current takes place at 5 volts this 5 volts only here this 5 volts we call reverse breakdown voltage or jenner breakdown voltage i will show you the graph this third quadrant represents the reverse characteristics of jenner diode here you can see on x axis we have taken 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt 4 volt voltages and on y axis 10 micro amperes 20 micro 30 micro amperes like this here you can see scale also on x axis one unit is equal to 1 volt on y axis one unit is equal to 10 micro amperes as the current here you can observe as the voltage increases slowly first current increases slowly but at 5 volts sharp rise in the current you can observe here in this graph this 5 volts reverse voltage we called jenner breakdown voltage this will represent as v suffix z this is all about voltage and current characteristics of jenner diode and p n junction diode i hope this video will help you in your practical examinations see you in the next experiment